Gun dealers in the United States have become the main target in the battle for gun control. Campaigners and members of Congress are joining together to demand clear action to regulate the sale of firearms. Our correspondent now, Bianca Perez, with that story. A press conference was held Thursday in Washington, D.C., in which Democrat members of Congress and the Brady Campaign, an organization that fights to prevent gun violence, urged the Department of Justice and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms to take action against so-called bad apple arms dealers. The majority of gun crimes that occur in the U.S. can be traced to 5 percent of gun dealers. We are calling on Attorney General Loretta Lynch to direct the Department of Justice and ATF to hold these bad apple gun dealers accountable or shutter their door so they can sell guns no longer and endanger our communities. The amount of crimes that have recently been committed involving firearms and the frequency at which they continue to occur are alarming the population. If gun dealers followed safer practices, the majority of these crimes could have been prevented. We're calling on them to urge gun retailers in their districts to adopt the Brady Campaign's Code of Conduct, which prevents straw purchases and gun trafficking and urges gun re retailers not to sell a gun to any buyer who has not completed a Brady background check, a measure that likely could have prevented the recent tragic shooting at the Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina. Federal law enforcement is aware of who the Bad Apple gun dealers are. However, definitive measures are not taken against them because organizations like the National Rifle Association have a large influence on certain members of Congress. Though we know it's killing people, uh, we know that criminals are, are, are getting these weapons, prohibited possessor, possessors are getting weapons. Uh, it's continuing because the NRA has out, uh, outlandish influence uh, on Congress here. 89 people die daily in the United States due to gunshots, and almost 300 more are shot, survive, and suffer from injuries for a lifetime. The question that remains is, how many more lives must be lost before definitive action is taken? Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.